Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Richard Retti and Efim Bogolubov. This game was played in New York in 1924. Richard Retti had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. In my comments, I will use some notes by Alexander Lehin. I hope he does the mind. Black to move, d5, c4, e6. c6 is more popular nowadays. e6 was played. g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2, bishop to d6 and both players castled kingside. b3, rook to e8, bishop to b2, knight from b to d7 and Reti played d4. According to Alexander Lehin, white is much better because black can't find a method of effective development of his queen's bishop. Do you agree that white is much better? Yes? No? Maybe? Definitely maybe. c6, knight from b to d2, knight to e4. Let's take it back. According to Alehin, e5 would be a bad move. Because of this continuation, c takes on d5, c takes on d5, d takes on e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5, bishop takes on e5, bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop, knight to c4 attacking the rook, the pawn is pinned, rook to e8, knight to e3, bishop to e6, queen to d4. Black will have a problem defending the pawn on d5. Back to our game. Knight to e4 was played. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Knight to e5. f5 defending the pawn on e4. If knight to f6, then queen to c2. f5. White to move. What would you do? According to Alexander Lehin, Richard Retti used proper strategy in this game. He played the best move. And that is f3. Intending to turn the closed position into an open position. Pawn takes pawn. And how do you recapture? With the bishop or with the pawn? The correct move is bishop takes on f3, not pawn takes on f3, because the pawn will be used as a battering ram. Queen to c7, what else? If knight takes on e5, d takes on e5, bishop to c5 check, king to g2, and now bishop to d7, if queens are exchanged, then black light square bishop can't be developed. So, bishop to d7 and then e4, and white is better, according to Alexander Alehin. Again, not everybody agrees with Alexander Alehin. Do you? Those days, everybody believed that he is right. Back to our game. Queen to c7 was played. Knight takes on d7. Bishop takes knight e4, and now e5, otherwise white would play e5. c5, bishop to f8, queen to c2, attacking simultaneously both of black's center pawns. e takes on d4, what else? If f takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, h6, Bishop to g6 attacking the rook, rook to e7, d takes on e5, and white is better. We have e takes on d4, now pawn takes pawn on f5, rook from a to d8. If rook to e5, queen to c4, check, king to h8, and then bishop takes pawn, or according to Alehin, f6 is even stronger. Okay, back to our game. Rook from a to d8 was played. Bishop to h5 attacking the rook. Rook to e5. Bishop takes on d4. Rook takes pawn on f5. If rook to d5, queen to c4, pinning the rook. 
Rook takes pawn on f5. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop on f5. And now rook takes bishop on d4. The dust has settled. And whoever sneezes first loses the game. Material is equal. But believe it or not, white has a winning move in this position. Please pause the video and find the winning move that is available to white in this position. What did you find? The winning move is rook to f1, threatening, queen takes bishop, checkmate, rook to d8, what else? Into e7, one line goes like this, bishop to f7, check, king to h8, bishop to d5, g6, Queen takes bishop check, queen takes queen, rook takes queen check, king to g7, rook to g8 check, king to f6, bishop to c4, and white is winning. So, Bogolyubo played rook to d8. White to move, how would you continue now? He played the best move. Bishop to f7 check, king to h8, white to move, and to play a killer move. Please pause the video and find the killer move that Reti played in this position. What did you find? The killer move is bishop to e8. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes bishop, queen takes bishop check, rook takes queen, rook takes rook check mate. What, what else? If bishop takes on c5, we check. Queen takes bishop. And now, if rook doesn't take the bishop, white is winning. If rook takes, then choose what do you want to do. Queen to f8 or rook to f8? Rook to f8, check. Rook takes rook, queen takes rook. Check. Mate. What a beautiful game. What a great strategy. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.